Now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Today the opener of this three game set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Boston Red Sox. The Bo Sox are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Trevor Williams gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, and he still gets people out. It'll Leading be fun to watch this guy work in this one today. That brings up Alec season. Bohm, Alec. and we are ready for some daytime oh. baseball. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And we are underway from Fenway as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last first seven pitch, games. Hey, thanks, Matty B. Hey, Dero, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today. But, boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys. Definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now. Really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Verdugo is under this one, and he's got it for the first down. Not exactly. Time now for a glance at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Yeah, I think Alec Baum is certainly a guy we are excited to watch play. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Ronald Ture is the next to bat. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He'll enter play here at an even 250, three homers, and 15 RBI. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Nice line drive to right field right there. Dan, That's does hurt. it concern you right when you're missing three. middle hard right. to play early in the game? It Harper. does, D-Roll. This is the kind of guy that he can't get away with those kind of mistakes. He needs to work the corners up, down, in, and out. And like that one right there, he has to stay out of the middle of the zone. Here's Bryce Harper now. First pitch misses to him. It's ball one. The 1 0 -oh is taken. Strike one. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty. Everything on the outer half of the plate. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Torres leads off first with one away. Ball three. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be. But now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around it? Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Boy, oh boy. That That's a tough one for the, the pitcher. He's Number definitely 17. wondering where the heck Reese. was that pitch? Oh, I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. And that would be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Hey, D-Row, this is one of the elite power hitters in all of baseball. 
Only a half a dozen home runs, though, last month. Yeah, half a dozen, but times it out by six months, and you're throwing up 36 big boys. I'll take that in a full season. First pitch on the way. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And it's 1 and 1. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 1 1 home. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. Strike three called on a pitch that looked inside. Instead, it's out number two. Well, that call looked like it was a little the pitcher's favorite, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Ready with the 0 and 1. Inside. Waiting inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Three-run home run down the line and right. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Phillies open up a three-to-nothing lead. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smell blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three-run job and an early lead. batting average down in the 180s entering play. 13 home runs and 30 RBIs. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. But the Phillies use the long ball here, and they get three on this three-run home run. On to the bottom of the first from Fenway. It's now 3-0 Philadelphia. Chase Anderson, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, he wasn't particularly good in his last one. If you look at the line score, he only lasted four innings, took the loss. He'll really be hoping to turn in a much better performance in this one. Into the box, Sandra Bogarts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Reading half off. of the first. For the Red Sox, the designated hitter, Sander Bogarts. Now the pitch. Hey. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road trip to start to it. They're three and one after four games, playing really fundamentally sound baseball nope. from offense to defense, pitching. It's all coming one together. Ball, one, for this one ball, one strike to count. Here's the one and one pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Quinn will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Batting second, 
With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He's got a five-game hitting streak going. If you've got to start those big streaks somewhere, I like the way he's swinging the bat right now. Great approach, very comfortable. Let's see if that streak continues today. Alex Verdugo digging in now. Oh. And a ball 1-0. Enters play here at 279. Six home runs and 25 driven in. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. 2-0. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well-respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, Debro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. The 2-1 home. Hit out towards second. And there are two away now. Batting third. The left fielder. J.D. Martinez. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He homered back in Wednesday's game. First pitch on its way. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. A ball and a strike now. Looked like he was on that one, one but it's one and two. Two out, nobody on. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. He stays alive, still two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. On to the second inning now from Fenway Park. Phillies on top. Three to nothing. Second inning set to go. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Roman Quinn. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it. But keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury something. Strike one to start the at-bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five. Fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Swings and sends it in the air out to left center. On the move is Martinez. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the Batting second down. out. The shortstop, Gene Segura. Stepping in next, Gene Segura. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. First delivery to him as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one.
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Three and oh now. He's really going to need to keep the walks down in this start. He's in danger of walking the second guy in two innings here. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. Vasquez over to his right. And that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they lead it 3 nothing. Now to bat, Rafael Devers. He's currently ninth in the American League batting race well entering play. play. Boy, and also the third right baseman. up among the leaders Rafael. in home runs and all the This guy's having an epic season. And he has an outside shot to win the triple ground. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. The 1 0. It's an off speed pitch taken for a ball. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. He's a 300 hitter, three for ten. He also has one home run. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. The 3 2 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. After it is McCutcheon. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And let's focus our attention on outfielder Andrew McCutcheon. You want to reach superstar status? You finish high in MVP races? You hit homers in the gaps? And you have a way of playing gold glove defense. And that's what Andrew has done pretty much his entire career. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. him up. Real Muto is there. He's got it and there are two down now. Batting six. The right fielder. Hunter Renfro. Next up for the Red Sox. Hunter Renfro. As you check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. And here's one that misses as the count moves to two and one on the Boston right fielder. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. 
he's doing that. He's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. Full count now. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. So the lineup flips over and digging in Alec Bone. Third base. We are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch on the way. Owen won the count. Here it comes. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball, one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Lays off, two and two now. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now batter. So the next to hit is Ronald, Ronald Torriot. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Pitch on the way. Hey. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. One out, nobody on. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-South. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the East-West we came up playing. Count remains at 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. I got to count one and two. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Bases are empty, one man out. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Line drive base hit. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get a down no, 0 2, right. no put away pitch, right. works the count back right. to the neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. Side, but it's well fouled. And the pitch on two and one, and it's fouled away. Now the 2 2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. 
three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home, and this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The first baseman, number 17, Reese. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the first pitch. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in his strike. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four seamer right there. But get back to that two seam. It's what his MO is. Here's the 0 1. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Two balls and two strikes now. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is now that he came back with a fastball hitter. on two and two. Duty. He was heading to count Reporting. 0 and 2 earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and the challenge with his hard stuff. Here's Didi Gregorius as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he lays off for ball one. A one one. Taken. Strike two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Hit on the ground is short. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Phillies lead it three to nothing. The Red Sox do to hit in the third. They're looking to get some momentum going with the bats. This is a group that has had trouble doing so all season long. One coach told me before the game, there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively. But first and foremost, we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game. And the stats do back that up as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts. So that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward, guys. All right. Thanks, Heidi. And stepping in, Christian Vasquez, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far. These guys, 6 up, 6 down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First delivery to him. This one's flared out toward left. Segura ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Every game. pitcher loves to get quick stop. outs, right? How Long about way. that? One pitch, one Good. out, a pop up to start the inning. Here's Marlon Gonzalez now. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Count one and zero. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time. Batting and there up. are two gone The now. second baseman, TK Hernandez. Striding in for Boston, TK Hernandez. Couple of hits in five trips to the plate for him back on Wednesday. First delivery to him. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. No ball yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull the trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Hernandez behind the ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail it here three to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that open. Okay, thank you, buddy. All set for the start of the inning, and next to hit is the catcher, JT Wilmuto. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Well located changeup on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Still a ball and two strikes. And a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. in front of home. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The left field on the 24. Roman Quinn. Now at the plate, Roman Quinn as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Uh, very difficult to be a switch hitter in baseball today. Without question, the more comfortable side being from the right side. So he's going to have his work cut out for him here, hitting left-handed. No balls and a strike to count. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And both guys bringing it pretty good. A couple of matching 94s as the two top speeds thus far. Next, it'll be Andrew McCutcheon. He flew out in his last A.B. And now 
pitch on the way. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Three runs three hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. That evens it up one and one. Pitch on the way. Fouled off. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They lead it three to nothing. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still Leading looking off. for their first More base runner in this one. No doubt the about that, hitter. Man, they've yet to figure this Xander. guy out on the mound. He's looked Very great dark. so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And the pitch. 1-0. After those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Now the 2 0. Second, Perez gloves it. No, just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. I love the fact there was no panic in second base Number right 99. there. He had plenty of time. He knew his runner. There might have been a little fumble with the exchange, but plenty of time to get the guy out in first. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Swung on and popped up, crossing into foul territory now behind third. And there's out number two. Up next for the Red Sox, the left fielder, J.D. So two gone now here Mark in the Red Sox score. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. First pitch on its way. As he'll try to hold back oh, on the swing, God. but he went around for the first strike. Turned on down the line. And there's the first hit of the game for the Red Sox. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming now inside batter. right there. Third Didn't do too much damage Rubber with it, yeah. but was able to get the head out Never. and drive it for a knock. Hey. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Martinez, runner at first with two gone. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles, doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder, always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Here's a high pop-up. Segura is there for it. And 
and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox. Still down 3 nothing. New inning set to get underway. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Gene Segura. The shortstop, Gene Segura. Here's the first pitch to him. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Segura behind on a 1-2 and two count. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. He still looks razor sharp from yeah, what I can it. tell, so the I think he might last a while Alex. longer if he can keep this up. Boom. Now, Alec Bohm. This one's flared off to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Up next to Philadelphia, the second baseman, Ronald Torreira. Into the box now, Ronald Torres. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Now a ball lined to the left side. Uh, this lands foul down there to make it one and one. Runners on first with one down. Popped up. Dahlbeck in foul ground. But this will land untouched. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ballgame. In a double play situation, we kind of expect most right. pitches to be down in the zone, Harper. hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 1. 264 is average entering play. 19 homers, 56 runs batted in. A one count. Here's the pitch. I'm sorry, that's cool. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Fastball called strike one and two. Runner on first with two away. Slow little roller to third. Third to second for the four shot and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. 
Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Leading off, All right, Heidi, thank you. Red Sox, the first baseman, Bobby Rosen. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Count one and oh. The one oh. That's ball two. Two and oh. swing here as he wanted to pull it back but he does so too late it's strike one on a good pitch there had him stretching to get out there and it's two and two now this offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Struck him out. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not now messing around. Trying right to take at corners. He's being Hunter. aggressive in the zone. And he's Renfro. attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball. 1 0. Oh. Struck out in his first at bat. The 1 0 oh delivery. That misses 2-0. and oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. And this is sent on the ground out to Segura. It's short. Scooped up. And that's the second out. Now batting. The catcher. Christian. Okay. Striding in is Christian Vasquez. Flew out last time up. First offering on its way. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. A one and one count now to Vasquez. One and one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Here comes the one two. Hit out towards second. Torres fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Josh Tomlin please. takes over to start now the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 33, Josh Tomlin. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring Maybe up Reese Hoskins. The first base is number 17, Reese Hoskins. First pitch on its way. And look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. 
And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander is up and throwing. The wind up and the 0 1. Line drive, base hit to right. He's through first and hustling for second. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. Now and this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Didi Gregorius stands in again. And his home run earlier has accounted for all of their runs so far in this one. Tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. Tomlin is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Boy, he showed some pretty now good that, range heading pretty catcher, deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Stepping in now, JT Wilmuto as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. His history with Josh Tomlin, he's only 2 for 10. Swing and a liner. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. The throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. The left field, number 24, Roman. Hmm. To plate now, Roman Quinn. Ball one. He'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0. 1 and 1 the count now. From the stretch. This is in the air out to left field. Martinez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now that is the center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. So now here is Andrew McCutcheon, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way as he takes a bold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Real Muto is off of first with two away. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. Ready with the 0-2. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Here comes the one two high fly ball out to straightaway center. Verdugo's got it and with it the inning is over. Phillies get a couple of hits here and it leads to one on the scoreboard. 
We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. Phillies lead this one four to nothing. And now Marwin Gonzalez to start things out in their Leading half off. of the sixth Four as they Red look Sox. to shake things up here Not for a lineup stop. that, quite frankly, Marwin. has been non-existent Good. today. Dollar. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. First pitch of the A.B. now. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up with one and one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Breaking ball that time, but misses out of the zone. Hits it high and deep out to center field. McCutcheon going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So one away in the Number inning, and it's time to check out the standing in the National League East to see where the Phils find themselves entering play today. Stepping in once again is Kiko Hernandez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hit back up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Designated hitter. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front Close of him. Up. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. I'm sure it was. in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball it's one and oh out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter runner at first here one man out And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Set. Here's the three-one. Popped him up. Hoskins has room in foul territory. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Center fielder. Alex. Go. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch is popped up. Bone is over to take a look at it. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. Little chopper back to the mound. Over the first, and that retires the side. Red Sox lead one. They're down 4 0. Seventh inning ready to roll. And coming forward now is the shortstop, the shortstop. Gene Segura. Gene Segura. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Strike swinging. Chased a high one there.
skied into straightaway right. Renfro is there to put it away for route number one. Now batting the third baseman, Alec Bone. Digging in next, Alec Bone is working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Whoa. One out, nobody on. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. He Up obviously recognized Cutter away. The he stayed base. inside it, was able Ronald to drive it the other way. Correa. So now to the plate, Ronald Torriot. And so take a look at ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. Oh, right back to him on the mound. Gonzalez for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway. Phillies on top, four to nothing. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, J.D. Martinez. The left fielder, J.D. Martinez. First pitch on the way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And that misses two and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The two and one on its way. Short for Segura. Feels it cleanly. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now batting. Third baseman. Rafael. Dever. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Reyes has it, and the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now that the first baseman, Bobby Dolbeck. That will be Bobby Dolbeck. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Perez gloves it, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail here four to nothing. Ryan Tepera is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th Number appearance of the year. Ryan. Ready to begin the eighth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Bryce Harper. Leading off for the field. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Tapera, a 
a six foot one inch right hander. He was selected in the 19th round back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. 0 oh, and 1 the count to Bryce Harper. Oh, one. Cut fastball above the letters of ball one and one. a strike. One one is a cutter that misses two and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Uh, two two. Hit in the air to center field. Martinez has a read on it. He's got it one away. The first base. Time to take 17. a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Bases are empty, one man out. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. One out, nobody on. Fastball comes in a bit tight. It's ball four. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's now a that great A-B. Down 0-2, and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. Striding forward now is the D.H. D.D. Gregorius has got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now back. Catcher. JT Real Muto. Now to the plate. Here is JT Real Muto. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets on. And this is taken outside for ball one. There's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight, and it's 2-0 and now. Hoskins leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Strike call, two and one. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Kelly 
strand one. They lead it four to nothing. Ready now is Hunter Renfro. We're in the eighth now, and Beating nothing's off. changed out there on the mound. Nah, they the just right haven't field. had much of an answer, Hunter. Matt. They've been off balance and put out the throw game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here, get aggressive. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. No balls in one strike. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. That's one over, ball. but low. It's a ball and a strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. One, two. Misses, ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Still even at two and two. able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And this will miss down low in the dirt so he's working full now at three and two. Hey throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And this is nope. taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. As we look at the numbers, we Up can see that he's left. north of 90 pitches right now. So it's Rick, not yeah. surprising to see him maybe Seth, losing a little yeah. bit of command. We'll see if he can battle through this and finish strong. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after working seven plus and he stands to be the winning pitcher in this one. Archie Bradley takes the ball here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Number 23, Archie Bradley. Christian Vasquez will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. From the stretch. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. now so his day fully Good over stop. now as you get a look Our at the way. pitching line for the Philly Good starter. Solid. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Next, it'll be Marwin Gonzalez. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Fastball Whoa, just yeah. misses. That's ball one. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. The 1-0. He swung on, missed, and that strike one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. The 1-1. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out.
And it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down quietly. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Hansel Robles enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring up the outfielder the Roman Quinn. The left fielder number 24 Roman Quinn. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. One oh. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Giving some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Now here it comes. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. Here's the three and two. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now that the center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. So the next to bat will be Andrew McCutcheon. His prior history in this matchup, he's two for three. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1 0. Robles, 30 years of age. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Bases are empty, one man out. Very high, two and one. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. To two and two now. That now elevated that, fastball. The short Every hitter thinks that, hey, they could do something with that. Segura. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Gene Segura standing in. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. It could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, 
Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they're in front, four to nothing. The second baseman pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's working on one for two games so far. Nope. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Not a lot of guys fill that knuckle curve, but some Number guys have a Number lot of two. success with it. Designated some say it has hitter. more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's Blue more guard. of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The windup and the 0-1. Nope. One and the one. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Bouncer up the middle. There's Segura. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The center field, number 99. Next to stand in is Alex Verdugo. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And now the first pitch. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. One on its way. Well, that's it. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Hey, this game is close right now here. But I'll take you inside the mindset JD. even if it was a blowout. Mark I know the team's Jesus. down to their final out, but you'll be hard-pressed to ever find an offensive player. Give away an A-B. Nice infield single right there to keep the line moving. single isn't all that bad but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up now the 1-0 -oh. hey. hey I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way and that's exactly what that is he swings at that that's off the end of the bat that's not hard contact at all and that's an easy out for the defense Ball and two strikes now.
One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Fouled off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Verdugo, a runner at first with two gone. Another one sent foul. Oh. So two balls and two strikes now. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Lifted down the line and left. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound has completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled away. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Torres feels it cleanly. Throw on the first, he'll take care of them, and the Phillies have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. 4-0 the score this afternoon. The Philadelphia Phillies jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Chase Anderson earned his fifth win of the year as he finished his seven innings with only two hits allowed. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Red Sox, no runs. Three hits. No errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Our Fedway Park paid attendance this afternoon. 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.